Welcome back to Vintage Story Mystic Winds and look at this. We are on a really snowy day. I'm not in a particularly cold area but doesn't this look cold? Wow. This episode is being recorded after I'd visited Rowley and also the polar bear and I have to say that I am really really inspired by both of them to improve my build. Now I know I spent a lot of time what I would call drafting this house but there's an awful lot still to do. Now you may or may not remember that I bought this beautiful uh, acacia bonsai by Black Feather and I have sighted it out here. I think it looks wonderful. Oh look at the snow falling off the walls. Goodness me. Right, so here we are inside. Now, do you remember that I had my library up there in quite a limited space? Well, I've moved the library thanks to gifts from various people, including the bookcases which were donated by Lone Wolf. And I have put them here in this little alcove and Rowley suggested I put a desk in here, which I like very much, this little desk. Look at this, I can sit here, look out at the snow, reach the bookcases easily. Absolutely gorgeous. I have been given, again by Rowley, an echo chamber because he bought one and then found one. And Rowley and Mosquito have both given me resonance archives and so I've now got a double stack of them. And people said, oh, can you put these one on top of the other? Technically, no, they don't stand on the floor. They hang from the wall. So you can put as many as you like, as long as you hang them from a wall. So that's how you get the double stack effect. And I think that's a nice little area. Now, I'm just thinking what to put here. I need a painting or something nice to put there, don't you think? And look at this. Rowley turned up with this absolutely brilliant desk. It's superb. On the left hand side I've got books. He has chiselled all this. He's chiselled the bookcase. It's beautiful. He has chiselled the little central place, an open book. He has chiselled the drawer. Can you see that's a drawer? And a pen and an inkwell. It's absolutely beautiful and a little writing pad. I mean this is gorgeous and I have a chisel chair as well. I mean it's just exquisite and again I didn't want to put something that beautiful uh, in a crammed space and surrounded by bookcases so this is where I sit when I'm researching and looking things up in the bookcases. This is my desk for when I'm really working and it faces north, look at that guys. North facing desk, fantastic. So the library is coming on. I have moved my treasure chest up here out of that narrow area down there. So this is all sort of work in progress and any suggestions or ideas for what else would go in the library? Curios, of course. Now I'm also lucky because Mosquito has given me large glacier ice and some more silver torch cactus. Those are just beautiful. Um, I seem to have a hole in my wall there. I need to have a look at that from outside. But this is part of the reorganization. I think this works much better as a library. I'm liking these pillars because they support the windmills above, but I'm just wondering, and I like the idea of having the pillows there it would make a lovely open space but sometimes discovering things by walking past them is a lot better. Now I've got two things that could possibly go here. One is the beautiful last day painting which is just too wide and the other is salvation which is a four wide painting. If I wanted to I could put another column in there. I don't particularly want to. So either of those things would go in there. So we'll, we'll have a look at that, I think, but that has been reorganized. Now, over here, look at this, is the space that was my library. 
So we'll take that down and we'll move that sign and put it outside what is now going to be the library up here. Do I need to specify it's a library? I think it's pretty self-evident, don't you? I think that's pretty self-evident. We don't need a sign saying library. Right, let's move that sign. Now, I visited the polar bear and her, as well as Rowley inspiring me, her build was so well organised. And I came in here and I had piles of firewood. I had piles of peat. And I decided that I would take all the piles of fuel down. I made myself a better crate. This is the better crate mod two better crates actually, and I made them in copper because I think the warmth of the copper goes well with the colours in this cellar. So these have all been put in and then I put matching shelves above. I have put a table on each side. I need a table here to put my cooking pots on. And of course, if I'm making pies, I need a table here. So that little bit of tidying up is all due to polar bear making me feel guilty about having piles of stuff. Now over here, this is where we brine our food. I did have a better crate here with just twigs in that I thought was a bit random. I am contemplating what to do with this little wall. I like it a lot, but I think I could do a lot more with it. I'm also looking at the stairs in that I was thinking that I might be happier if the stairs were approached from this direction. Now it would pull the staircase out slightly. It would pull it out to here. But my gut feeling is it would look better. Let's just try that. So that if we put the stairs, and I will be having a look at chiseling these stairs. But again, this is all part of, yeah, it would, Bring the stairs out to here and then we would need uh, some, oh gosh, uh, little bits from here. Here we go, yeah, only horizontal, that's right, I only need four of these. Let me show you what I think could look better as a staircase. Yeah, that looks so much better. One, it shows off the painting better because the two wide reflects the two wide. And two, the whole staircase is better. I like that a lot. This actually turns round up here, but it's not obvious. But I think that these, now that I've got the basic build sketched out, as I would say, I think that it's time to have a look at this. I like that. I will leave that there, but this, I think, is now a little bit hidden here. So is this pot. There is the possibility of putting the stairs so that the pot goes there. I like that idea too. Let's have a try. Is there anything in this pot? No. Right. Right, let's pick those up. Fortunately, I've got these two with me. Does, is that going to look better? Yes, it is. A little tiny landing. Let me get another staircase. It's fantastic, isn't it? When you just get the inspiration. Um, there we go. I need one more of those. That's right. I've actually got one, but that's not a problem. Okay. And it's all inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. Once you've got your build um, mapped out, yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. And where's that beautiful pot? That one. Come here. Yeah. Perfect. Now, I am going to chisel this staircase and I would like to get a banister going up it, but that's going to take a little help from my friends. 
So <laughs> we'll have to do that. By the way, although Lone Wolf gave me some of the bookcases up here, I did actually buy some myself. So we went into town and somebody was selling bookcases. So I'm on the lookout for more bookcases and I will buy them if anybody likes that idea. Here we go. It's a lot of people on at the moment or getting themselves sorted out, but I did want to just show you that these small details, oh, that's much better, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Little things all the time. Now, do I want a lower block here or not? I have this and I have this beautiful, beautiful set of flowers. Where should we put them? Good question. Let's just think about that. Uh, I think I have some flowers over here anyway. And in fact, I have specifically not put flowers here. I have specifically put uh, what are witches, hats, mushrooms, because I think they're very, very fascinating. But I do think we might just temporarily, let's put a pot of flowers here temporarily. Life can only be enhanced by a pot of flowers. Now, the other thing I... I'm looking at is what to do with the area over there and I think I might make it into a clay forming room that would work well very very well the other thing I do notice about other people's bases is that they finish things off they don't leave things undone now I've got some pots over here that I have been that's it grabbing or I've actually been clay forming and firing and the reason I've got these um, and I want to take some more uh, I want to take one of those do this fit together almost and have I got any more of the cornflowers I have just a few. Let me take those and some cat mint. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely looking good. All right. Let's come out here. Now, the reason I wanted two more is that I borrowed two sort of on the fly for my mushrooms when I collected them. So I grabbed them from here. That's better. It's just getting things finished and getting them looking nice. Now that's three wide. So I think what we'll do here is we will take up this, put a pot in the middle, put those back in there to look good and put that back there. That's better. Do I like that? or not this side hasn't got that i'm not sure i like the pot in the middle no i don't that's okay i might just put a couple of cat mint in there that will work nicely yes 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 now we can't put cat mint on here We've got a different surface here unless I want to alter it. I'm also looking at putting a tree in front of here because this is a bit dark and grey as you can see. Right, let's hurtle off inside and close the door against this ghastly weather. Right, now I have a pot spare. I just want to check out here. Now I used to have two pots here, which were very attractive. So I think we'll put them back. Let's put one of those in, and then I'm going to make another pot for the other side. And that will give us a couple of pots there, or I could just move those back. 
let's do that. I was very afraid that if I took these down, they would disappear. But in fact, they haven't. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Yeah, I like that. Let's put the pot there. Give a little bit of colour out here. Yeah, I'm sorry to st stick you guys outside in this awful weather. <laughs> All right, I feel better about that already. My friend Mosquito thinks that there is something wrong with my cellar and he thinks it's because I have got these beautiful polished sandstone blocks. Now I've used these a lot in cellars in vanilla but what might be happening is that the mod that Tells has put in, which is the Bricklayers mod, may have affected whether they are in fact a proper cellar block. Let me have a look. See, this says insulating block face. This does not. So I think what we need to do is to do a few tests. So I have a pot out here. I've got some fresh for 8.4 days. If I put them in this pot, they are fresh for 20.3 20, 20 days. And the pot says, perish speed 0.41. If I come in here, the perish speed is 0.19. And if I put these in, 43.3 days. So the seller is definitely working. The question is, is it working as effectively as it should? Now, there is one thing that I did want to try, and that is uh, to put a, t where's my axe? To put a table in the cellar, because when I, Mosquito said he thought there was a problem with my cellar, I had a table in it. Now, I don't know whether tables affect cellars. Let's just give a try. All right. That is 0.19, that looks just the same. So if I put this in, 43.1 days, and it's 0.19. If I take the table out, 0.19, 43.2 days. It is just the slightest thing. But I don't think I'm going to be keeping tables in my cellar. And I'm just beginning to wonder whether anything else I put in here affects cellars. Now I know that storage pots shouldn't affect it. Chests. See, look, food perish speed 0.26. I expect that. I expect the storage vessels to be better. Barrels, of course, are different. All these go in cellars. Shelves, we know, go in cellars. But I don't think tables do cellars much good. So let's keep our table out of the cellar for the time being. Small gains, but they matter. You may have noticed that I've got some seriously snazzy armor on. I'm very, very lucky. If you look at, let's press C, can you see that this armor is 900 out of 900, 900 out of 900. This one is a little bit less, but I had been making up here um, a lot of purple dyed cloth because I've got dyes and cloths up here. Um, I need to make some more clay for this one it's just half finished um, so up here I've got all my colored clays um, and I've got crushed things up here and I had some, a lot more purple cloth but what I have done is I knew realized that I then couldn't make the sewing kit 
and that I needed a sewing kit. And of course, only tailors can make clothes. But fortunately, my friend Rowley is a tailor, so he made me a new set of armour. And I just want to show you, doesn't this bonsai tree look exquisite when you look out of the window at it? It really does. It, it's one of these um, placements that is great two ways. You come out here and it looks good out here. Um, I'm still contemplating moving these and putting a couple of pots. Um, I'm thinking that I might move the lighting to either end of this. Um, I do have a light in the middle here, obviously. But I'm just thinking I might put more lights on either end of this build. You can never have too many lights in my view. Never. Right. <laughs> wow, the snow, the snow. It looks incredible, doesn't it? And if you look at my house, can you see how I now have this wonderful winter star effect? Yes, I play Stardew Valley. Look at this. You can see where the snow is sitting and where it's not sitting. It's quite fantastic. The other thing that's interesting is where it sits outside because looking outside okay doesn't this just show what a different climate i've got in different parts of my build the snow is not sitting here but this little bit is much much colder scrunching on the snow so this side of the build is much colder and that's going to affect what tree I put here. So I'm actually, I always knew I was between all these different biomes, but this proves it when you've got snow, you can see quite clearly on the map where it is. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, just checking my animals are still there. That's always a plus. Here we go. Wow. I'm glad I got a little bit of winter in my area. But I'm also incredibly glad I've not got too much. <laughs> One of the things I am really, really bad at is closing doors behind me. And I've decided to use one of the mods that we have which are the floor plate mods so i'm going to make some how many doors have i got one two oh my word three four five i think i've got five doors i don't think it makes much difference what I use for this but let's have a look does that give me a slab it doesn't um, do planks give me slabs they do no it's all the same color so do we want a floor plate of that or do we want stones and blocks i've got granite slabs does a granite slab make a floor plate i think it might yes which color do we prefer let's have a quick look With this colouring, we're going to have granite slabs. Does that come up with that? No, it will come up with that. Okay. All right. Let's pop the floor plates back. And I've got two of these. That's 
three slabs. I know I've got more granite slabs somewhere. It's not hard to make. All right, let's just make, pop these down and I can do the rest later. So if I pop these down there, yep, and here, yes, it shuts the door behind me. This is what I need. Um, and I think it works with gates as well. Because this gate I constantly leave open. Let's just see whether that works. Yes. I'm not putting them on the outside. I could put them on the outside here, actually. It wouldn't matter. Because as long as the gate is shut, it's fairly secure. My trees are dormant, which I'm very pleased about. But yes, I think this is going to make a difference. There's a slight delay on it. I can live with that. Right guys, look at this. I've now got these little floor plates in front of all my main doors and to my surprise this one, just one little floor plate in front of here, works a treat. You can just run towards it, it opens and then when you come this way it closes. So that should mean that every time we have a temporal storm or it turns night, I don't have to keep running around shutting doors after me. <laughs> so this has been a video about very small improvements to my build, but you would be amazed at how much difference to the way it looks and the way it works these small improvements can make. I do need to have a look at some very big improvements now, and I'm afraid that that means I may have to learn to chisel, or at least learn to chisel better than I can at the moment. So, I hope you've enjoyed my video on small house improvements. Bye bye guys.